What's up, Dirty Gang? Happy New Year to all of you out there. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I brought in the New Year like I did last year. <laughs> Sleep. Sure did. I was yeah. safe in my home because people get today. People get, crazy out here, right? Okay, fireworks going off. We don't know if it's fireworks or what. <laughs> or should we be running? Run. For all of our new subscribers, I'm Alicia. I'm Aaron. Why would you pause like that? And we are Journey with the Lewis family and we do reaction videos. So welcome to Journey Gang and hit that subscribe. Thank you. All right, today is the Walker family. Walker, Texas Walker Ranger. Bro, please, bro. Hi, we're the Walkers. I'm Anthony. I'm Alice Walker. We have three beautiful children. Mm. Anthony, who's 12. Shut up. Yeah. Nalayla, who's six years old. Yay, with disrespect. Baby Alyssa, who's 14 months. <laughs> that little baby's so cute. And we have my sister's son, Marcus. And he's 17. He's from Chicago. He wanted a different life. OK. We have actually done this family before. We did a smaller, shorter clip of the the 12 year old that was disrespecting his mom we did a smaller shorter clip i will link that up here or i'll link it in the description because sometimes i forget to link it up here we're gonna react to more of this family he ain't disrespectful that's what she said that is what she that's said that's what she said what is that i'm a counselor at a juvenile detention center i have mm. a licensed daycare business in my house mm. <laughs> look at the children okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anthony has a challenging personality. Yeah. I mean, he's just challenging. always into something. Ah. Oh. Why was he throwing stuff at that little girl? Well, for one, she was throwing bows on his back. <laughs> for one, <laughs> she... <laughs> I'm with it. For one, they both wrong. Protect yourself. They both wrong. Take First of all, like he, he's 10 times bigger than her. Yeah, he's 12. She's like, what, six she or was four? Six. Yeah. That's six years. He's difference. 10 times bigger than her, but she should have been putting his hand, her hands on him, and he should be throwing things he at her. He definitely should be throwing things at her. They both wrong. No, sorry. You'll keep your hands to yourself, eh? These accents be terrible. Uh -oh. They do, but that's okay. I mean, but he's on the honor roll. He's the star basketball player Is he? on his sixth grade Ooh, he, team. That first one ain't going to so win. We know he can do it. Put this stuff uh -huh. away before I have to use it. <laughs> and you think it's funny? I want to find a different way of dealing with Anthony versus spankings or hitting. And I, I don't want to have to hurt you, so come on. Oh, wow. Can you believe this? We never had bedtime for our kids. Our kids just go to bed when we go to bed. Well, one thing I wanted to notice, too, I see in the beginning now, we can't react to the whole episode, but in the beginning, I'm only seeing mom discipline the boys. Yeah, I'm not seeing pops in there. All I know is, like, Dad, sometimes when you do get home, you're going to have to put your foot down. Put it down. I don't care if you get home at 6 in the morning. Down. Excuse me. Wake oh, up. Yeah. Wake up. I'm, I'm happy I don't have to do that. I don't care what time it is. Jesus. You remember back in the day? I don't I know don't if you remember. Hold on. Did I not remember that? I'm trying to think. Like, back in the day, honey, parents used to wake you used to get up, get up out your sleep. Excuse me, you didn't, them dishes wasn't done. I don't care what time it was. Mm, <laughs> They'll get yeah. you up at five o'clock in the morning. My mom used to do that, but then she stopped. But like, boy, when she used to do that, I should be like, girl. But that's what I'm telling dad, like, honey, you need to come in and wake his butt up. What was you doing? Okay. Y'all know what I, 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 I Time to go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Look at that, Go to bed. The lady's Dead. biggest problem right now is just going into her own room at night, going to oh, sleep. No. Oh, so you don't want to go on and go in your room? No. That's pretty frustrating dealing sure? with her doing that. Get up, get out of here. There was four Stay. in the bed in the little one side. Nobody's rolling over here. Okay, oh. baby. Alyssa and her mom is like the Siamese twins. They connected together. They you can't pry them loose. And see, you know what happens? I think. When you have, I think he, she's 32, mm -hmm. and he's I think he's 42. 42, so they have a 10-year difference already. Yeah. And when you get past, like, only speaking for women that are past their 30s, I'm 31, only one year past, but still. <laughs> Just, and I already have kids. I had my kids almost, my first one almost 10 years ago at this point. So when you do have, like, a one-year-old past 30, it does make you be more like, <laughs> you baby them more. A one-year-old like past I, 30, ugh. If I had another one right now. Ugh, sickening. 
And I would have that child by the time I was like 32. I would be 32. Oh. Like if I got pregnant right oh. now, I would be, I would have a baby on your birthday. Oh, that's oh, sick. Oh, okay, I have a birthday baby. That's September. <laughs> no, that's September no. baby. We I don't to, want any more of these kids. You have to get me pregnant at Christmas. No. Yeah. I'm done. I told, I told you I'm done with these kids. Next Christmas, you have to I'm get done. me pregnant. I'm not getting you pregnant. <laughs> This little girl's like a koala bear. <laughs> she never comes down on her own. Two bananas. I don't know how fast you can get here, <laughs> but get her as quick as you can. We need you like Rapido. yesterday. This family's got out of hand. Rapido. They need my help straight away. Can you step on it, please? Okay. Step on it. They need her help right away. Step on that, John. When I'm nursing her. She just want to nurse like all oh, the time. Oh, she still nurses. You know? Nurse That's Melissa, why. I can't get a lot of the things done because I find myself sitting down, spending time with her. So it's easier to keep her close to just have her right here. I'm just say yeah. After now, I've heard of well, what was that show I was watching where she was nursing her child? Oh, he was like five. <laughs> Yeah. I can't right, remember if that was a fiction or non fiction. No, nah, he show. was still he was still on there. Latched on. At this point he was asking for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like hey, mom, let me get that milk. Yeah, anytime you can hey, come up to me and be mom, like let me get that milk. Full sentence? Yeah, I think full sentence where we definitely <laughs> need to stop. Y'all can play, but don't tear the house down. When daycare had ended, I saw once again that Alyssa had lifted up mum's shirt whilst the kids were playing around. Yeah. Don't kick. Oh, they rough house. And when mm. things got too rough, mum stepped in. Mm. 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 Oh, no! Wait a Any minute. Don't oh, step on my But see, this is why in this is why spanking in it this work. in this way it you just going around handing out. Dude, they all slapping each other anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we've been slapping each other this whole been, time. They've been roughhousing the whole time. Like, you coming over there and just smacking with like, the heavy handedness or nothing. We all been we all we, been we've smacking been, around. We've been boy. smacking each other. Like your little pops. What's that doing? Hmm? But it was ridiculous. She was hitting the kids to stop them from hitting themselves. You just said that. How <laughs> effective is that? Oh no doubt. I've got more work cut out for me what here. The first oh. thing they come? With the championship belt, I dig it. Later on in the afternoon, Dad came home. Okay. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Hi. Anthony. Alice told me that her kid's behavior got much worse when the daycare was over. So I want to find out from Anthony when he gets home. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> because you got two big boys up in there. He's twelve. He's one got a nephew that's seventeen. Yeah, they should. First of all, they shouldn't be roughhousing with that little girl. That's numero uno. She shouldn't be roughhousing with them. And they shouldn't be roughhousing with her. That's numero uno. A, so, numero B. yeah. If them two were roughhousing, I'd be like, oh, okay. No. Whatever. Hi, hey, hey, bring it down. Yeah. Just, bring it down. That's what boys do. But they had a, they had a six-year-old girl in there. That's too much. With the championship belt. That's too much. Look like the Intercontinental exactly Championship. Like when I come back, then I help Anthony with homework. Layla gets uh, settled. Help with the baby. Dinner. It's like I come home from work, and there's, there's other things to do at home. With Alice, okay. you know my days are pretty extended. You know, Anthony's a really laid-back guy, and he helps out a lot. Well, you know what? Like you said, he's tired, but he deals with mental health. Like he's a counselor at a at a. Uh, so um, he dealing with he dealing with young teen, young young men already, all day long. Exactly that had that are troubled. They have trauma. He's dealing with that all day, so it's he has no choice but to be calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Because he, if he takes on that energy and brings it home, boy, you talk about a hellhole, chaos. Oof. So he has to be chill and relaxed. To do that type of job, to work in a boys' uh, detention center, <laughs> you're gonna. It takes a special person to work with people that have had trauma, mm -hmm. that are incarcerated. Special people out there. Kudos to you if you do that. When mom has to deal with Alicia all the time, when Anthony's doing the cooking and dealing with that, and the kids have left, what do you do then? Alyssa pretty much wants to just be with. For me, here. for the most part, I know I need to be able to put Alyssa down, you know, so yeah. I can move around and do some other things, but also know that this is my baby. Desi, I told I you. I love her, you know. I told that's exactly that's exactly my point, what I was saying. Like, when you get past a certain age, it's like, that's my baby. Like, the other kids, okay, I had y'all, yeah, 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 y'all cool. But the baby be like, that's my baby. Like, you already know how I feel. I, I can't we, say yes, you went through, we went through it I can't already. say how I feel. It's not appropriate. You just said you didn't want no more. No, nah, but you know what a phrase I want to say. The point for me wasn't really about the play that you put on. 
It was about the cooperation. Oh, that was from a play. Putting the ideas together <laughs> and the way in which what that was it, communicated to one another. Putting on a play for Joe was a great thing, but we've oh, never gosh. sat down and worked together and tried to figure out something, you know, <laughs> that we can do it to have everybody's input. That's really good that she brought the family together, but I just want to make a point of the ski mask scene right there. <laughs> We didn't get to see the play, you guys. I will, okay, real quick, I will link this in the description so that way you guys can go check out the play because we cannot, unfortunately, do the whole thing. We would love to do the whole thing. I don't know how, maybe somebody, I don't know. Anyway. We can't do the whole thing. The reason why we really did this video because Aaron had saw this, he had seen this family, uh, I guess, while scrolling through YouTube, and he's seen this family. He's like, oh, let's do this family, you know, what, what really intrigued him, the thumbnail. <laughs> That's the first thing people see. If they see a crazy thumbnail, they're more likely to be like the, boy with the ski mask on. The ski what? mask thumbnail. They're more likely. To click, they're more likely to click on that thumbnail because why does he have that? Oh on? Or was that the little girl? Yeah. Oh, you know, up. Yep. So, yeah. And right away, Alicia got so, really you want that bottle? because she didn't she want the bottle. I want she the wanted natural mom. nip. <laughs> Listen, this is for you, okay? Yeah. Nope. This is where we're at. Put your breast, push it where your pillow is. All right? And then you can kiss her and stroke her. Mothers out there, I need y'all to comment. Or fathers who have seen your significant other or your girlfriend, whoever go through this. How long did you breastfeed? Mm. When did you stop breastfeeding? And how did you wean the child off? Because I've heard the weaning process is horrible. I never had this problem because... I stopped breastfeeding my first child. I stopped breastfeeding Rennie at like three months. I didn't last very long with her. No. Kay didn't get anything. Anything. I she, dried up. She got a little bit, but that was No, it. she didn't get anything. Well, I you, dried up. You tried for a little bit. Did I? I can I, You tried for a little bit. I feel bit. like it's been so long. I but don't then remember. you were so you were like, I can't keep doing this. I'm tired. Yeah. And then, and then you was like, I thought right. she didn't get anything, but I guess mm, she got a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to turn around and talk to Joe and be like, it's hard, Joe. I can't. And this is yeah. what I was so afraid of. I'm like, this is so hard. Lay down so that your puppy is if you're laying down with her. Here, baby. It's right here. Look. And leave the bottle here. She's either going to take it or she's not. The importance yeah. wasn't that Alicia take the bottle, but that she get herself off to sleep without using mum's breast as the pacifier. Right. And that's the thing. It becomes a more comforting, soothing thing. Mm -hmm. So now it's not only about feeding. Now it's about, like... I get a little snack before I go to sleep, too. <laughs> a little milk and cookies before yeah. I go to sleep, right? A little chocolate chip milk and basically, cookies. Basically, that's basically what it is. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to take a nap, so I need a little, you know, give me a little snack. Let me lay down. Mm. It's like a comfort thing. You know what I mean? And it's over. <laughs> then she go to sleep, she be knocked. She be knocked out. But anyway, hopefully that worked out. We can't do the whole thing, but I'll link it in the description. Long time ago. Well, I think mainly because you guys were ready for change. Mm-hmm. Now, who's itching to see? Me. Just take a back. Just me. And sure enough, within five minutes, Alicia was asleep, and oh. Mum and Dad were stunned. I was like, oh, my God. I cannot believe it. My baby is actually sleeping in a bed. See, it is possible, and I think it's because a lot of us, especially new moms, now, she's not a new mom, but maybe this is the this now we don't know the whole story, but this could have been the first child she actually successfully breastfed. So that's why yeah. she's maybe she Or maybe the first this is the first time she did it without what she's been doing was just putting them to sleep while while she's breastfeeding. This is the no, first I'm saying the attachment part. Okay. I'm saying I'm like saying maybe I'm saying maybe she's really attached she's really attached to the baby because this is her baby, of mm -hmm. course. She's the she's the ba the baby of the family always gets spoiled extra. Um, and then also this could be the first child, like I said, that she successfully breastfed. So sometimes you don't want to let go of that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I'm yeah, thinking from a woman's yeah, point of view, like yeah. it's a comforting thing to comfort your child. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that she's so surprised is because, you know, you don't have the tools until she somebody, did it. She did it. until somebody comes in and gives you the tool. She's I'm so happy. Your hands are really sweet, little Alicia. She Ooh. went out like Aaron, a light. A thank you guys so <laughs> much for. T Don't. Thank you guys, of course, for tuning in. We hope you have a blessed new year. Yes. Go into 2023 with intention. Yes. And that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, guys. Nice. All right, y'all. 
we will see you on Wednesday because Wednesday. If you make it to the outros, you Wednesday already know. Afternoon. We can. I can never say anything. I can never Wednesday say anything. Afternoon. And remember, guys, the journey continues. Oh. Uh, stop messing that part up. What? That was tight. <laughs> that no, was tight. It wasn't. It's too loud, and it's in my ear.